In this video I'm going to show you how to do linear regression on your HP 12C financial calculator. So what we're doing when we're doing a regression is we're saying that given some data points we can find the best fit line. So you remember um, when we've got a best fit line you've got something like y equals mx plus c but on this calculator this understands this equation as y equals bx plus a. So your m is your slope which we're calling b and the y-intercept which is the point at which the graph crosses the y-axis so we're setting x equal to zero and we're calling this a and so essentially what we're doing on the calculator is we're finding a and b for some data set and the best way to understand this is to simply do an example so we've got a line that passes through minus one minus one and one three find its equation and let's just do that so here's our calculator and so there's our data points rewritten up the top so the first thing we need to do is ensure that the memory is cleared so we're going to clear the stats memory so we're pressing f and then this sst button which has got the sigma sign under the clear so that's the calculator cleared so first thing to do is to enter our data so we're going to do one then CHS changes the sign, makes us minus one, and then we're going to press enter, and then the same thing again, we've got minus one, minus one, one, change sign, and then we're going to add this to the stats memory by pressing this button here, the sigma plus, and now this counter tells us how many points we've got, so we've got one. You'll see that going up to two when we enter the other one. It's quite important to note that we enter the y value first, then the x value. It seems backwards, but this is just the way the calculator seems to like it. So then we're going to enter 3, which is our y value. See, 3 is on the y here. So we go to just 3, enter, 1, and then sigma plus. And you see this goes up to 2, so it's incremented that, telling us that we've got two data points. So we can go straight ahead and find a. Um, the observant among you will notice that the way to find a is to set x equal to zero and find the value of our line. So simply press um, zero and then this G button to access the blue functions and then pressing number two we've got this um, YR function. This will find the value of our line at um, x equals zero which is 1, so a equals 1 as we would expect. Um, this, this line will be y equals 2x plus 1. So then we're going to go ahead and find b. Finding b is a lot more complicated. Um, essentially what it's doing, it's quite a clever method, it took me a long time to figure this out, but it's um, finding y2 and y1 which are two points that are separated by an x distance of one. So the bottom of your standard um, calculation of the gradient is just going to be one. So it's essentially um, a y, the y point and the y point before it. And doing this on the calculator is quite clumsy. You have to press all these buttons. Um, essentially, the x and the y button is switching between um, the y value and the x value at that point. Or rather, the you're taking then, yeah, it's, it's doing a, a kind of switch. So if you've got the y value, it's giving you the x. If you've got the x value, it's giving you the y value, and so on. So let's just type this in, and you'll play around with it, and you'll see exactly how it works. But this is fundamentally what it's doing: is finding a y value and the y value previous, and then dividing it by one because it's the points are separated by an x distance of one so we put in one g and then two that gets us three so switching x and y gets us one as you'll notice this the point up here one three so you've told it three and it's told us one um then the r down so going back and then XY puts one in the memory, so we've got 
3 and 1 and when we press minus it's going to do that subtraction to give us 2. Okay, this is, you may just want to memorize this or you may want to go through it and figure out exactly what it's doing. It'll probably be easier to remember if you know what it's doing and then memorize it if you should need to use this function often. And of course this is b equals 2. And then we substitute this in so you get bx plus a is 2x plus 1. So that's how you do linear regression on this financial calculator. It's quite an awkward method to do it and it's far simpler to do on like a Casio scientific calculator. And I could link to a video where I explain how to do that. So if you have both you may want to just do it on a more standard calculator. So that's all for now and thank you for watching.